All right, so I'm here to talk about growing in sphagnum moss. Um, so I had a couple of questions about growing in sphagnum moss. I decided to just make a longer video and then link it on YouTube. Okay, so I love sphagnum moss. It's like a huge game changer for me in terms of propagation and growing things that are a little bit sassy. Um, I find that sphagnum moss is an amazing rooting medium. It's more forgiving when it comes to watering or overwatering. It's easier for me to tell when a pot is like needing watering, watering or super dry versus one that is doing fine right now. Um, yeah. So I love that about it. Um, I love that it allows me to see my root systems through clear pots. Um, and what's really important is getting a high quality sphagnum moss. I recommend the best grow brand, B-E-S-G-R-O-W. That's the only one that I really enjoy using. Um, if you get a cheaper quality one, it'll be pretty noticeable. Um, there'll also be like sticks and twigs and sometimes there's like plastic in it. So I avoid those. Um, this one, the best grow brand can be a little bit harder to find, but it's worth, um, the little extra that it costs and it's worth hunting it down. You can get it on Amazon when it's in stock. I would just get a bunch. Okay. So, um, you can grow in sphagnum moss the same way that you would grow in aeroid mix. So it becomes your root, your entire like pot medium. Um, so there's nothing else mixed into it. It's just straight old sphagnum moss, no perlite, no soil, no nothing. Um, it retains moisture. It retains nutrients. You can feed plants in this, um, except I would say that you want to use a food that is designed for hydroponic growing. So something that's not like super high in like, um, organics you wouldn't want to use like a fish emulsion for example you you could but I, I wouldn't you might get some like mold going on in here you might um not love that result so I would definitely use what um other kinds of more synthetic types of um fertilizers that you would also you know purchase for hydroponic type growing like you would for LECA um, okay, so what else? I love, my favorite thing about it is that it grows like crazy, healthy, amazing root systems. It's really nice for plants that appreciate more moisture, plants that like having what they call wet feet. Um, and I find alocasias love it, calatheas who are sassy love it, um, everything loves it. Uh, Scandapsis loves uh, rooting into sphagnum moss. They make like these thick roots, they're kind of scary. Um, yeah, so I love growing in this. This is a little fry deck um, that I've had for a long time and it has always hated me. It arrived to me in an aeroid mix. I've kept it in that aeroid mix and um, it just has never thrived. It's always struggled. It's never held more than three leaves at a time and it um, goes dormant pretty often. It drives me nuts and I've never been able to figure out why it hates me so much. Um, I got it a heat mat, I got it a heat bulb, I've done all these things and it still hates me. So I finally took it out of the mix that it was in and I um, saw that it really didn't have great root system, like hardly any at all. It was a bummer. I put it in sphagnum moss and this was about, I'd say a month and a half, maybe two months ago. And um, look at my root system. <laughs> so this is another thing that I really, really love about sphagnum. I don't have to guess um, what's going on in my pot. I can see that this fry deck is super duper happy right now for the first time in its life. And I love that. Um, sometimes on the pots that I don't keep in these solid pots get algae that grows in them. I don't really mind this. Um, it doesn't really bother me. It doesn't seem to bother the plants. If it really bothers you, um, make sure you keep, you know, your pots inside something else that'll help cut down on it. It'll still happen, um, especially if you're putting nutrients into the moss. This happens in your soil as well. You just can't see it. Um, so yeah, if that's bothering you, just keep it in a solid pot. If um, eventually over time, moss does break down the same way that other mediums do. So just like you'd need to repot your soil mediums like at least every two years, you're also gonna wanna repot your moss mediums when the moss is broken down. Um, so it doesn't last forever, but that's fine because it's always good to get like repots and a fresh start. <sighs> so anyways, it's great for propagation. I like to use it. Um, I like to use like water with an air bubbler for a bit before. Uh, so I just get a little bit of a root system going before I repot things into sphagnum. Um, I like using it in my cabinet because it keeps everything like uh, most of these plants actually are growing in sphagnum and it keeps the humidity of the cabinet up, especially after waterings. When we water, and this is true for any medium, um, I, it, it, this is like 
very, very important. So if you've been um, listening to me drool on, now's the time to tune back in. It, when you water your plants, especially the ones that are um, in like these types of mediums, like soil or moss, you need to make sure that you are saturating your medium when you water it. So that means we aren't just putting a little bit of water in sometimes. We aren't, um, you know, just kind of casually pouring certain amounts in from time to time as we go. Let it, like we want to be saturating our pots. So this includes your soil plants, it includes your moss plants. Um, you can even take these out, set them in the sink, let them just completely soak up water and then put them back in their pots and you don't resaturate until they are completely dry. Dry sounds obvious, it's crunchy and crunchy and obviously you can tell when the moss is still wet and doesn't need any water. Um, so when we water this way, we build really healthy root systems. We don't really run the risk of overwatering. Um, things just go a lot better and it's much more consistent watering than you'll get if you're just sort of doing guesswork. Um, if you want to not soak them, like set them in the sink, the way you would do this is you would pour water very slowly over the entire top of the pot, try and make sure that you're saturating down into that full medium, let it drain. Um, and yeah, I don't let them sit in water in their pots. Like I'll make sure that they're pretty well drained, that the moss is holding the water it's gonna hold and then I'll put them back into their pots. Um, yeah, so moss is really forgiving in terms of watering, overwatering. You can always tell what's going on. It's really easy to use and I personally love it. You can still inoculate it with beneficial bacteria and fungi if you'd like to, the same way that you do for an aeroid mix. Um, I really don't see any downsides to using moss, except that it can be a little bit expensive, but so can a nice aeroid mix. Um, and it does often seem weird to start using it in larger size applications, like um, this kind of sad caramel marble over here. Uh, she's a bit of a rehab at the moment. Um, if I were going to, you know, try and pot my giant Jose in that, uh, it would look weird, I think, but I actually think that the Jose would probably love it. Um, yeah, so I'm a super big fan of moss. If anyone has any specific questions about using moss, um, you can reach out to me anytime. You can message me, I think, in the comments, or you can um, also send me a message on my Instagram at lolo.plants, and I would love to talk more about moss with you anytime. Um, yeah, so hit me up if you've got some cool... Uh, moss root systems. Show me those too. Uh, I love looking at root systems in moss. I also, oh here, I'll show you a cool one really quick. One second. Okay, this is um, one of the my favorite parts of my collection is my philodendron rui sub, and it has these beautiful orange roots. Um, can you see them? They're like pinkishy, reddish orange, and I love them. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I love growing in sphagnum. I'll um, grow directly in, so like here's my ghost. I'll go directly in like terracotta pots um, with it. I just, I just like sphagnum everywhere at this point. It's just like sphagnum city. So if you have questions about it, um, hit me up. But also I just super recommend it. Start trying it out and um, thank me later. All right, <laughs> bye guys.